program, we met the Hunter family, who are wearing pollution monitors to see how much pollution each one of them is exposed to during a typical day. Once soot and tiny particles get into our lungs, what happens to it there? And what can be done to reduce exposure? I'm cycling through London, as I do most days, getting my lungs full of traffic fumes. And then it's time to cough it all up, with help from Dr. Rossa Brewer. Go for it, big wet coughs. <laughs> I can assure you this is as unpleasant for me as it is for you. What we need is these nice big chunky bits ah, you can see there and there. Ross is making me cough up everything I can so I can see what's going on inside my lungs. He's got some misty salt solution to make my sputum more liquid. Right, I think we're done. Yeah, I think I'm beginning to feel a little faint. Yeah, fair enough. OK. So what am I looking at here? You are now looking at cells that come from inside your lungs. You've mm -hmm. coughed up your sputum for us. This cell, mm -hmm. you can see it's speckled with these black little, little particles here, are probably soot from diesel engines. Despite legal controls, cars and trucks, particularly those with diesel engines, still produce large amounts of tiny bits of particulate matter, or PM. Too small to see and too small for our noses to filter out, they go deep inside our lungs. Fortunately, our lungs have defences. Cells called macrophages that can eat up these tiny particles. The problem is that macrophages are slow workers. We speeded up this footage, so we have to be careful not to overload them. If you're at a traffic light and a lorry starts off in a low gear and gives a big pile of cloud of stuff coming from the engine, your macrophages aren't going to be able to deal with all the particles you breathe in in one go at that time. And and that stuff's then going to sit on the lining of your lung, causing damage by stressing the lining of your lung fluid mm -hmm. um, and being generally bad for you. OK, how bad? Well, there's a report came out a couple of years ago commissioned by the government that said that 29,000 people a year die because of breathing in this stuff, this PM and soot. Um, or they equated it to losing about six months of your life simply because of the quality of the air you're breathing. That's quite significant. You know, we worry so much about clean water and we worry about clean food, but you know, we're all breathing dirty air all the time. 29,000 deaths a year.